Once you've created your applications, it's going to be important for you to know how to invite users in, both to the whole body base platform, but also to your individual applications. In the app panel, there's a users tab. From this panel, I can add, remove, and update users. I can click on add users to be able to add their emails one at a time. So maybe test at buddybase.com and test one at buddybase.com. I have the ability to set the role that this user will have when they've been invited into my application. App user will have the ability to view the front end of any of the applications that I invite them to. Creator will be able to both view the front end and edit. And account admin will be able to do anything that I can do. So access to all of the applications and all the settings. So I'm going to invite both of these users as app users. I can then send them emails. So if I have SMTP configured inside of my BuddyBase instance, that will allow me to send an email and their user accounts will be in the pending state until I've clicked on the link inside of their email to verify their account. Otherwise I can generate passwords and the passwords then will be generated and I can share those individually with the users, either on Slack or Discord, on a piece of paper or in some other way that I can get that to them. After their first login, they'll be asked to change the password to something else. So this, these are temporary passwords. So I'll click done and we'll see that these users are here. I can delete the users by clicking and checking them and clicking delete. And I can also edit names and details. So test one, I can say their name is maybe test. Uh, maybe their second name is McTesterson. And that name now will be go with them throughout the application. As well as adding, removing, and editing individual users, I can also bulk import my users with CSV files. Again, I'll be able to set their permissions to app user, creator, or account admin as they come on board. There is an enterprise tier feature of groups that allow us to be able to group users together and so manage permissions on a group level rather than on an individual level. This user panel is for bringing people into the BuddyBase instance but it's not for bringing them into individual applications. You'll see that my, my administrators have access to three applications, whereas my new app users have app access to zero applications. So now that they're invited into the instance, how can I bring them into the app? So I'll go to my apps and into my BuddyBase University app. And on the top, there is a users panel here. This lists all the users inside of the BuddyBase instance. I can search for individual users. It also lists any groups that might exist. And I can add each user as a, at a particular level. So maybe I'll have one at an app user and one as a power user. There's now a tab at the top of our sources called app users, which shows all of the users that are here. We can't edit this because our users are being managed on the an instance level, so I can't change the names of any of these, so I can't change my name to be something else. I have to do that back in that users tab in the admin panel. But this gives me an overview of all the users who currently have access to my application. I can equally remove my users from this application with one click. And when I check this table again, you'll notice they're gone. So that's how we manage our users both on an instance level and an app level really flexible interface, allowing you to have nuanced control over who can see and edit what.